So, making our way downtown. Making our way downtown, that's right. Bad. Walking fast, faces, faces past, and I'm homebound. <laughs> there you go. It came literally all the way from Delhi. 2,000 kilometers 500 away. 500 kilometers or something, I don't know. Like a flooded rice paddy field with cows standing, like literally water was like up to their bellies. And then we actually have a functioning bathroom. So, oh, hot water. And they have hot, hot water. <laughs> In our last video, we told you everything about how we booked our train tickets. Now, what we didn't tell you is that we were only able to book train tickets in third class. So today we are going to travel down south towards Pondicherry in third class. And we are very, very excited for this experience because we don't know what to expect. And it's basically our very, very first time taking a train in India. So I cannot wait to see what is going to happen today. AC on the Pondicherry Express. Now this train actually came all the way from Delhi um, and it's headed in the direction obviously of Pondicherry because that's our next destination. Now third class AC basically they give you the choice of having a lower middle or an upper berth. Everybody just seems to be on the lower ones. Um, it seems to be a really great way of meeting a lot of locals and talking to people because a lot of people are um, engaged in conversation here. Some people are obviously just keeping to themselves, but this place, this train is a very, very special experience for sure because it's our very, very first experience on an Indian train. Um, it's very, very laid back. It's very quiet. It's very peaceful. And the only thing that I wish was a little bit nicer was the AC itself because it's pretty, pretty hot right now. Another thing that we probably don't really have to mention because it's obvious is that the bathrooms are quite dirty here, but that's normal. This train has been coming all the way from Delhi down south here, all the way to Pondicherry, transporting probably, I don't know, a few hundred people. So the toilets are a little bit on the scary side uh, but it is okay so like you just use the toilet before going on the train and you will be fine and uh, for all the westerners out there maybe two travel essentials when you do take a train hand sanitizer and baby wipes another thing that is surprisingly oh hello <laughs> another thing that is surprisingly convenient is um, power plugins so i don't know actually if our uh, plugins will fit into those we would have to try it out because india has a little bit of a mix of power plugins from what it seems like it's sort of the um, the ones that we use in ireland but then there's also a different one with this just like a round thing on the top and uh, yeah but you have power plugins so you can charge your equipment here as well and uh, obviously lie down and take a nap if you want to or have to take a break um, I'm sure uh, if you're on this train for one and a half days, two days, all the way from Delhi to Tamil Nadu, I'm sure uh, that you, you will have to sleep at some stage. So um, it's probably very, very good to be able to just lie down here and relax for a little while. And um, yeah, I think overall it's a very comfortable situation to be in. Um, I think next time we are going to be on a train, we will probably book third class again because it's very convenient. It's comfortable, it's quiet, why not? Now this is obviously the first of many trains that we're planning on taking throughout all of India. We have three months here to explore this incredible country and we're very very excited because India is known for its train network. It has one of the most expansive train networks I think in all of the world. So we're very very excited to explore more of that. This train itself is absolutely perfect for what we paid and for being a third class AC. It's really, really amazing. And to be honest, it's even better than a lot of the European uh, network trains that we've taken in the past. 
you have full-on beds that you can literally just relax in if there's one free um, and I'm seeing a lot of people going and taking those beds and they're just laid out relaxing so it's so so nice um, it's a good atmosphere it's really really just a laid-back atmosphere on this train um, definitely would agree with Naomi and book third class again for sure as I was saying train network here is known for being absolutely incredible and there's a whole list of trains that are very very famous amongst Indian people and amongst amongst travelers as well um, such as the Toronto Express I believe is one and I'm not too sure about the other names but I do have a list thanks to you guys commenting down below you told us all about the different trains that we can take so now we have a full-on list that we can go to um, and I hopefully we can tick them all off as we're traveling through India. The natural beauty and the surroundings that we have seen on this train ride are pretty crazy. You see some really, really beautiful sights and it's so incredibly green and luscious as well. So many palm trees and green open fields and rice paddies. It's such a special um, experience to be able to see. We also saw like a flooded rice paddy field with cows and um, standing like literally water was like up to their bellies chest high, chest high water uh, which was absolutely very unique uh, to experience uh, I've never seen that before actually to be honest but um, this whole experience has just been out of this world we're actually coming very very close now to Pondicherry and something that um, Naomi and I just realized is that Pondicherry or Puducherry is not a part of Tamil Nadu. It's kind of like a union state of India that's like broken away from uh, Tamil Nadu, but it is kind of situated in the middle of the state of Tamil Nadu. So it's very, very interesting. And um, this place used to be a French colony. That's what it's most known for. And it's apparently a very popular tourist destination for French people. So we're gonna have to maybe uh, learn a little bit of French, or I don't know. We don't know. We're gonna have to see. It's <laughs> one big step. All right. We made it. We made it here. All the way to Pondicherry. Uh, no idea where we have to go. Yeah, we're gonna figure it out though. It kind of looks like a lot of people are walking that way. Even though exit is mentioned over there. So I don't know. Do you know where to go? <laughs> I don't think he knew either. <laughs> Nobody knows. We are going to figure out where we have to go. Google Maps says it's in that way where all of the other people are walking. So what is the name of our accommodation? Viras Residency. V E E or there one kilometer walk okay yeah now this way is wrong we have to go this way so guys welcome to pondicherry we made our way out of the train station into the center or what it looks like the center of Pondicherry and now we're pretty much just making our way towards uh, our accommodation so making our, way downtown. making our way downtown that's right walking fast, walking fast faces, faces past and I'm homebound there you go <laughs> there you go Sorry. Uh, but yeah making our way to the accommodation pretty excited also pretty tired uh, the train actually hungry. hungry yeah we're both very hungry uh, so we definitely need some food plus something I want to say guys that train was absolutely amazing and it was perfectly on time as well it ran literally to the minute on schedule which really just blew my mind uh, because India as as you guys know totally massive country but they have their train system down perfectly. It came literally all the way from Delhi, which is like, what, 2,000 
2,000 kilometers 500 away. 500 kilometers or something, I don't know, much more than 2,000 kilometers. And it still ran on time. How is that like possible? Yeah, it's crazy. It would never happen anywhere else. Yeah. All right, we just arrived in our accommodation and it's uh, very pleasant actually. A lot better than I thought it would be when we when Luke booked it actually. <laughs> turned out really well so I basically uh, went based off of Google reviews and um, it had like 300 positive reviews out of like 305 so very very um, positively surprised this is big double bed obviously you have a power plug in next to the bed on both sides which is um, something that we really look for because we're always charging our stuff we have cameras and laptops and everything we have a tv which we've never used um anywhere that we travel to really just maybe if it's a smart tv we'll use like netflix or something <laughs> we have a uh, ac which is uh becoming less and less important to us but we will definitely use it here because it's very hot today for some reason um and then we actually have a functioning bathroom which we didn't have in the first place when we were in chennai we had a shower but the shower head was really damaged and it was kind of like hanging down from the ceiling but this one actually i'm gonna do a harold balder here yeah. That seems to be perfect and it's actually clean as well um, and it seems to be fully functioning too but yeah we're very very happy and this comes to 20 like 24 euro a night not I, bad i never thought i would see you uh, impersonate harold balder not that i like i like harold balder don't get me wrong we also have a coffee maker tea and coffee maker uh well a kettle which if you know me i'm irish this is perfect so oh, and they have hot, hot water, so yeah, it doesn't get much better than this, guys. We also have a fan, which is doing its thing right now. Um, I don't know, uh, like what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Nothing coming off of it, really. No, but we're gonna, it. we're gonna have to use the AC for sure. I turned it down because it was so loud. It, it sounds like we're going to lift off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we're taking off. Yeah, but it's like super loud, so... Our room is an attack helicopter. <laughs> We're going to fly away. <sighs> helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> so we're all checked in now to Pondicherry and um, the guy at the reception asked us to pay just after we saw the room there. We're very, very, very pleasantly surprised and happy with the room itself. <clears throat> so we went straight to the ATM and we managed to take out the necessary amount now guys if you're watching this as someone who's from europe and you maybe have a european card um, if you're looking for somewhere that won't charge you crazy amounts of commission there's two banks that we have found that work really really well for us the first one is hdfc bank that actually has zero commission yeah. And then you also have Indian Bank. Yeah, we just went to the Indian Bank there. Um, it's very, very close to our accommodation. And there we also paid zero commission. Um, we went to a different ATM beforehand where we had to pay a little bit of commission. It was not a crazy amount. I see, I see. Uh, the ICIC, yeah. Um, I see, I see. I see, I see. Ikiki. <laughs> Ikiki. We went to the Ikiki Bank before. We had to pay commission there. So, um, in case you ever do come to India uh, and you are from Europe or have a European bank, Indian Bank and HDFC seem to be working fine so yeah. far. HDFC and Indian Bank, guys. But yeah, we're gonna go head back into our accommodation. Both of us are feeling pretty hungry, so I think we're gonna just have a quick little bite to eat as well. And yeah, relax for a while. So guys, that was our very first ex train experience. Sorry, that was tough to get out. I'm feeling pretty exhausted. First Indian train experience, the Pondicherry Express from Chennai. Wow, what an experience. Very, very pleasant experience. And uh, the first thing, by the way, that I noticed about Pondicherry is that you can buy grapes here pretty much in every single store. Yep. No idea why. Um, like We saw some grapes in Chennai as well, but not as much as here in Pondicherry. So. Yeah, it's interesting and it's maybe in we're onto something there maybe yeah <laughs> it's interesting as well to see 
all of the French colonial architecture. Um, it's a very different vibe and aspect than it is in comparison to where we came from in Chennai. Um, totally different and we're very very excited to bring you guys another video after this one where we're going to explore around this amazing place. I cannot wait, I'm so excited to explore Pondicherry. Absolutely, but for guys, but, but for guys, but for now. <laughs> Just for the guys. <laughs> My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Indian adventure. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Peace.